Today we're going to take a look at read relays and read switches. These may not be the most commonly used components, but they can be incredibly useful. As an example of their usage, I, I used one many, many years ago uh, to key a, an amateur radio transmitter. I needed to key a larger current, but with a low current Morse key. So I used a, a read relay to uh, do this. And later I used one in an automatic test equipment as a switch to switch in the right test point. I had a bank of these read relays. But enough of these examples, let's look at the technology and find out what they're all about. The read switch is the basic element and this consists of two reads or contacts held within a glass envelope which may be evacuated or filled with an inert gas. The reads overlap so that when they close they make contact. Typically the reeds are made of nickel iron and then plated to ensure the maximum life. Being made of nickel iron they are ferromagnetic and this is the key to their operation. When a magnetic field is applied the reeds become magnetically orientated to the field making the two ends of the reeds opposite poles. Accordingly they become attracted to each other and when the external field becomes sufficiently strong eventually the attractional force will draw them to each other, closing the contact and making the circuit. The basic reed switch. So here we see a really simple example of a reed switch. The reed switch is on the left hand side and this is connected to a digital multimeter on the right hand side which is set to a resistance range. If I move a magnet in we will see that it goes from open circuit and switches over to closed circuit and open circuit and again closed circuit there we go and open circuit. Read switches on their own can have many uses for example as switches detecting when something is open or closed. A door is a common example the switch is located on the door frame and the magnet on the door. Read switches also form the main element of a read relay and they are used in electronics as fast acting mechanical switches. The bar magnet we saw earlier can be replaced by a coil. When a current passes through the coil a magnetic field is created and this acts to switch the relay over. To prevent the magnetic field from the coil becoming too much of a problem to other areas of the circuit the whole relay assembly can be contained within a magnetic shield. Read relays come in a variety of sizes and formats. They can be dual in line, single in line for printed circuit boards, or they can be much bigger for larger current applications. There are several manufacturers, so there is a really good choice. So why are read relays used rather than the larger traditional electromechanical relays? It's because they offer better performance in many situations. They're really fast. They're durable, they have a low on resistance and high off resistance, making them ideal for sensitive applications. They also provide complete galvanic isolation between the input circuitry and the output circuitry. But like anything, they have their downsides. The big drawback is that they cannot handle as high currents as their electromechanical cousins. There are also a few precautions to think about when using them. When driving them using a transistor or other semiconductor driver, care must be taken to protect against the back EMF that's created when the current through the coil is abruptly turned off. This can rise very sharply to a high value and can destroy the driver semiconductor. Fortunately, the solution is very easy. Simply place a diode across the coil. Under normal operating conditions, it's reverse biased and has no effect on the circuit. But when the current is switched off, it becomes forward bias and starts to conduct, thereby preventing the back EMF from rising too high and creating a problem. Also, great care needs to be taken if the wires to the reed switches need to be bent over. This actually isn't advisable, but sometimes there's no option. And also, when soldering, the iron mustn't be left on the joint too long. In either case, the glass could crack and render the switch useless. So that's our summary of read relays and read switches. If you need to find out any more, there's plenty more information in the description with useful links. And please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.